develop and maintain godly disciplines. Daniel chapter 6 and verse 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home. And in his upper room, with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as was his custom since early days. This week, we are spending time looking at the life of Daniel and trying to draw some insights from his life, a very inspirational, very inspiring life. The second aspect of Daniel's character, a very important trait that we see in Daniel's life was the godly disciplines that he developed from an early age and which he maintained throughout his lifetime. We see here in Daniel chapter 6 that here he was serving in the courts of the uh, Mede, the king of the Medes. In his early years, he served under the Babylonian king. The Babylonians were overthrown by the Medes. And then later on, the, the Medes were overthrown, overthrown by the Persians. And Daniel was kept in charge of the government by, three, by these three empires and rulers. And regardless of which emperor or which king he served under, there is something that Daniel maintained throughout his life. And here we see an example of this in Daniel chapter 6, that as was his custom was from his early days, that means right from his early young age as a teenager, even though he was in, a, in exile in a strange land, he made it a point to take time out three times in the course of the day to go and bow before God facing Jerusalem and making prayer, prayer <clears throat> and making prayer and petition to God. And so here, uh, when he was in a very difficult situation, Daniel just goes and he does what he has, he has been disciplined to do, what he has developed in his life to do. He faces Jerusalem and he prays to God. Nothing changes uh, in, with time. Nothing changes with the uh, difficulty of the situation. He maintains his discipline. Now, another discipline we see in Daniel's life is in the ninth chapter. In verse 2, we see that Daniel understood by the books the number of the years specified with the word, by the word of the law through Jeremiah the prophet. So we can infer from here that Daniel made it a point to read the books, uh, the, the writings, uh, the holy scriptures that were available to him at that time. And we can say very confidently that these godly disciplines that Daniel developed and maintained were his anchor, were his foundation throughout the course of his life. This, these disciplines are what made Daniel the Daniel that we know about, the Daniel that we are inspired by. So what about the disciplines that you are developing in your life, disciplines that you will maintain in your life? The disciplines of seeking God in prayer, the disciplines of reading His Holy Word, His Scriptures, going back to the Scriptures over and over again and letting His Word become a part of you and letting His Word guide your life. Let us develop godly disciplines because these disciplines will be our stronghold, will be our strong foundation through all seasons of life. Daniel was a man of godly disciplines. You and I must learn to do that also. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us the grace to develop godly disciplines and to maintain those disciplines through all seasons of life. The discipline of seeking you in prayer, the discipline of studying your holy scriptures. Help us to do this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.